Hi everybody, it's Mike Gazier, and this is my April 2012 video commentary. And I know it's been a while, but a lot of things have changed. Number one, I've taken a technological leap into the future. I'm actually recording this on my iPhone. And uh, the site behind me is beautiful Seven Mile Beach in the Cayman Islands. And given that I'm sitting in the Chase Lounge on the beach in the Cayman Islands, I'd only one thing I really should talk about, which is hedge funds. My hedge fund video, which was sort of my introductory to hedge fund video, was one of the most popular ones I've ever made. And I thought I'd carry that further this month with a discussion about the concept of fund of funds, which when people first hear of it, it doesn't make particularly common sense. But here's, here's the situation. A lot of people that are eligible because they're either an accredited investor which can be institutions and uh, fairly well-off individuals, or qualified investors are very well-off individuals or institutional investors. The trouble with trying to invest in hedge funds for the first time for some people, and even for pension funds, is number one, deciding what single manager fund is best for your situation, because single managers manage money all sorts of different ways. There's sort of the classic single manager hedge fund styles, long short equities, dedicated long, dedicated short, convertible arbitrage, global macro, um, fixed income arbitrage. And the thing is, and I always use the example of like just some doctor perhaps who's been enormously successful in life, have, has done well in business, has made a lot of money for him or herself, is more than eligible to be able to invest in hedge funds, but which one do they pick? They're not an expert in investing or hedge funds, number one. Number two, how much do they have to invest? A few hundred thousand dollars? Which I'm not sneezing at a few hundred thousand dollars, but some of the more successful single manager funds require, well, first of all, perhaps a million, sometimes $10 million initially to just get in. So that's the minimum initial investment. Secondarily, um, the very popular and successful funds are very commonly closed to any new investors. Hedge funds are limited to the number of investors they can have. And number three, even if the doctor gets through those steps, how are they supposed to, you know, uh, diversify? They may end up putting all the money they have available for hedge funds into one single fund. What a fund of funds operator will offer is they'll collect money from lots of investors, large, small, whatnot until they have several billion dollars, then allocate that across perhaps 20, 25, 30 single manager funds. The hedge, the, 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 whoever is operating the fund of funds typically is expert at this. They're, they're great at identifying the best single managers. They have already put money into the most promising ones, so they have access to funds that like individuals or uh, institutions may not. Um, and what they also will do is if any single manager is not performing well, they'll send in the redemption notice, get the money, the fund the funds money out, and reallocate it to another manager who perhaps is doing better. So basically, the idea of a fund the funds will give, whether it be large or smaller hedge fund investor, the ability to diversify, to have somebody who's watching the money at all times, making sure that the managers are performing, and, of course, this isn't a free service. As we've discussed in my previous hedge fund video, uh, single managers charge a fee to manage the money and the performance fee. The fund of funds manager will also be sticking their fingers in, taking a little bit in the way of fees also. But to a lot of investors, uh, that's well worth it. So, if I'm in the Cayman Islands, ground zero for the hedge fund industry, more hedge funds are registered here in Cayman than anywhere else and for good reason. And it's got nothing to do with the tax situation. That's a very small contributor. There's a very large, very sophisticated infrastructure to support hedge funds here with auditing firms, accounting firms, uh, administrators, a very well done regulatory environment too. Better than any jurisdiction in the world, I think. Although a lot of jurisdictions are trying to compete. But anyway, now that I've leapt into the uh, 20th century uh, technologically, hopefully with the iPhone situation. I'm, I've even got like an external mic, if you didn't know that. Everybody knows you can record videos on your iPhone. I, I did some research because I wanted good audio. 
because what I look like really doesn't matter. Clearly the background's better looking than me, but what I'm saying I'm hoping is more important. So there's a little primer on funds of funds. Next month, I'm gonna try to explain the master feeder structure. It's a little bit more complex, but something you should know. So I hope all's been well. I will see you next month, May 2012. Enjoy.